Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm out here in a random parking lot today and I'm about to start working on this brand new Scat Pack Challenger. Cool part about this deal is, especially if you're a pro detailer, this is pretty important. But I've never met this gentleman ever. Uh, he was a referral from someone who does know me, but I've never met him. And we talked on the phone, he was comfortable enough to leave the key and full payment at the concierge desk in his building for me to pick up and come and detail his baby. It's pretty awesome, makes me feel really good. Left me a little note, left me this little envelope. He spelled my name wrong, however, that's fine. Um, it's cool, cool deal. I love it, you know, that I love building trust. It's important for business uh, and in life. And for this guy to trust me with his baby, just give me the key to it in a random parking lot, full payment, you know, I, I could just take the money and run, I guess. But it's awesome that people trust me and I appreciate that. And that is what I do for a living. I make sure that I'm trustworthy and that's important. And that is basically what I'm trying to relay as far as a message, if anything here, to you pro detailers is building rapport and building trust is very important for the success of your business. So uh, do the right thing by the client and they'll refer you. Trust and your, your integrity is the, the most important thing that you can have in business. So do the right thing and you're gonna go far. So anyway, so as you can see, it's a dirty, Scat Pack Challenger. It is black. I am not polishing this car today. <clears throat> he did request that I pull the dealer bullshit off, which that's eh, going to be a pain, but all right, no problem. I will most likely polish over that because I'm going to have to scuff it up a little bit to get it off. But he also had some sap or something. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that. I was messing with it earlier. Um, Right when I got here, I'm not sure. I may end up having to polish half the hood. We shall see. But he did specifically say something about that. Ooh, I hate it. I hate it. We don't have to have front license plates in Florida. And I hate that this car has those coal, uh, those holes drilled in it. Um, I didn't unlock it. But anyway, Scat Pack Challenger. Brand new. Black. And... Got my mobile set up. I uh, brought my generator. This is a Briggs and Stratton P3000. I generally would recommend the Honda or a Yamaha 2000 watt, uh, but I bought this uh, to power my air conditioner in my camper. And then I've got all my other random stuff. I have water, um, my vacuum cleaner all of my products from detailjuice.com because that is all that I use. Pads and stuff, Harbor Freight DA, extensions, buckets, all that I need. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned up really well. Uh, probably get the interior knocked out. I'm just gonna vacuum it and wipe it down, hit the door jams, nothing fancy. Um, but after it's all clean, I'm gonna try to address this and the uh, the dealer sticker in the back. So I'll bring you back in just a minute. Let me get set up and we'll go from there All right, the first step in the force field protection system is ghost Obviously, I don't have labels yet. But anyway, you put about an ounce in the bucket That is about an ounce then I saw a piece of debris I think nope, I guess I didn't it's fine um, Put an ounce of ghost in a bucket. Then you've got your water. You'll put a gallon of water in the bucket. Just like so. I mean, I literally, this is a six and a half gallon water container. I can get six cars out of that. That's pretty awesome. Six cars out of that little jug of water. Um, for intents and purposes, all intents and purposes, I'm just going to use Ghost straight up. I'll uh, pre-soak some towels, throw some towels in there. All right, cool. So, first order of business, 
for the Gary Dean wash method with Ghost is to pre-soak the panel. Pre-soak, use as much as you want. Again, this is the new Ghost rinseless wash solution. $39.99 a gallon at detailjuice.com. Good stuff. And it dilutes, you can dilute, this is the concentrate, I'm just using it straight up. Uh, this will dilute uh, one part water, or I'm sorry, one part product, two parts water. So you can get three gallons out of a gallon for pre-soak, detail spray, waterless wash, whatever. Um, or you can get 128 washes out of one gallon. So one ounce per gallon. Start from top. Usually I'd fold the towels, but doesn't matter at this point. Get it nice and clean. And because I'm confident in what I'm doing right there, I know that that surface is very clean. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my clay bar and I'm gonna clay as I go here, which is a pretty cool deal. So it's already lubricated. I could spray more lube on there if I want to. It's overcast today. So I'm just going right into the clay. I'm down here in downtown Tampa and it smells, it just smells like sewage down in here. It's horrible. Anyway, there's that. And now that part is done. So we take a uh, gray Gary Dean wash method drying towel and dry it off. Ew, it's got some nasty scratches on it. I want to call that guy and see if he wants to polish it. So, you dry the panel. And so it's that fender has been washed, clayed, and dried. Now, I would wipe it down with stripper juice, but because I'm gonna do one step at a time. I'm gonna wash and clay and dry. Then I'll walk around the car when all that's done with the stripper juice and strip any and all of whatever's on there already off, but it also will prime the surface with a uh, priming catalyst that will help the uh, infinite force field uh, to bond better. All right, we totally just fast forwarded to the end. You can see it's a beautiful day here. Earlier it was pretty overcast. I'm uh, downtown Tampa off of Bayshore. That is Tampa General Hospital. It smells like raw sewage out here. But this is a brand new 2016 Scat Pack Challenger. And I've been working on it for about three hours. And she looks amazing. I didn't do any polishing. I did some hand polishing, uh, no machine polishing. So I did remove that decal. Those dealers, man, they put those decals on there so you can't get them off very easily. But I got it off. Gone. Boom. Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Remove that residue with no problem. Um, the reflections, awesome. Wheels, spick and span. Calipers, same. I applied Transform Dressing 50-50 with water. Diluted 50-50 with a foam applicator onto the tires. They look amazing. Uh, so, Ghost rinseless wash solution, and I used Ghost as the clay bar lubricant as well. Uh, I followed that with, uh, I did the whole car with that and dried it off and then hit the whole car with stripper juice uh, to remove anything that was there prior to the detail as far as wax, sealant, whatever. Uh, and to prep the surface with the priming catalyst that's built into stripper juice uh, to help infinite force field bond better, which is what I applied at that point. A solid coat of infinite force field went on all the paint, emblems, headlights, tail lights, uh, corner markers, wheels, glass, all of it got infinite force field. Uh, sometimes you'll get some high spots with infinite force field. 
and the fourth part of the force field protection system is the force field boost uh, that will help you level it out uh, without removing any actual material as far as the the layer that you want to leave behind so you're actually using that same acrylic to smooth it out uh, essentially which is the beauty of it because a lot of uh, coatings require you to have to polish it off to level it out and that that is definitely the case when infinite force field is cured however while it's still curing uh, you can use force field boost to level it out without removing any of the actual protection that you're trying to leave behind so that's the beauty it's incredibly easy to use uh, you get I'm we're getting we're almost at the two-year mark for seven cars that I've been maintaining since the beginning uh, the product has actually improved since then since we started formulating it but we're at a year and almost eight months on seven cars that I'm currently watching and maintaining so uh, you should get around two years of durability with infinite force field as a standalone with no force field boost it will absolutely last indefinitely with force field boost applied once every other month as a detail spray it's that easy so anyway you can walk around this car all day it looks deep black fantastic thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my videos uh, i've been working on this car for several hours now and it looks amazing um, if you guys want to learn more about my products, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products and my processes. Uh, send us a request. We'll get you in there. Uh, if you've got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Again, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.